glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. Deci și Jesus Christusnik. Mindrike amen. Slava Isu Christu. Slava na veki. Today we gather on this evening to celebrate the glorious feast of the nativity of John the Baptist. This day holds profound significance in the life of the church. Saint John, the forerunner, he was chosen by God to prepare the way for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. His life, his message, his mission serves as a beacon for us, guiding us in our own spiritual journey. As we know, John's mission was clear, to call the people to repentance and to prepare them for the coming of the Messiah. He preached in the wilderness, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He baptized with water, symbolizing the washing away of sins, and he pointed always to the one who was to come after him, Jesus Christ, who would baptize with the Holy Spirit in fire. His message was not just for the people of his time, it resonates deeply with us today. Just as John prepared the way for the coming, first coming of Jesus Christ, all of us are called to prepare ourselves and others for his second coming. And this preparation is not merely external, but must penetrate to the depth of our hearts, of our souls. Every time during the Divine Liturgy, in the Creed, we profess our belief that Jesus Christ will come again in glory to judge the living and the end, <coughs> the living and the dead, and his kingdom will, ho will have no end. This is a core tenet of our faith, always reminding us that our lives are not rooted in the present, but are oriented towards the eternal kingdom of our Lord. And today we are pilgrimage on this journey, striving to live in a manner worthy of our calling as Christians. So the question for us today is, how then do we prepare for the second coming of our Lord? First, we have to cultivate a life of repentance. John the Baptist's cry of repent, urging us to turn away from sin and to seek God's forgiveness and mercy. We know that repentance is not a one-time act, but a continual posture of our hearts, a daily turning back to God. We also have to strive to live our lives of holiness and virtue, following the example of Jesus Christ. So what does this mean? This means loving our God with all our hearts, our minds, and our soul, and loving our neighbors as ourselves. It means being a faithful in prayer, diligent in the reading of the Holy Bible. It means also be active members in the life of the church. It means seeking to embody the fruits of the Holy Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, 
and self-control. All of us are called to be witnesses of Jesus Christ's love and truth in this world. Just as John the Baptist pointed others to Jesus Christ, we also have to point others to him through our words and our actions. We have to share the good news of the gospel, offering hope to those who, e who are in despair, light to those who are in darkness. Our lives should be a testament to the transformative power of God's grace. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we celebrate today this liturgy for the feast of the nativity of our of nativity of John the Baptist, let us be inspired by his example. Let us heed his call to repentance and prepare ourselves, our hearts, for the coming of our Lord. Let us live with the awareness that Jesus Christ will come again in glory. And let that awareness shape our every thought, our words, our deeds. May the intercessions of St. John the Baptist strengthen us on our journey of faith. May we always be vigilant, ever faithful, ever ready to meet our Lord when he come, comes again in his glory. Amen. The world is not your home. Sin. Chaos, corruption, the devil is doing his best to destroy your family. As fathers, we're called to pray, protect, and provide for our families. During times of economic uncertainty, spiritual warfare, and political instability, we need real assets to protect our wealth. Midwest Precious Metals, roll over your IRA today.